It is up everyone This is Captain Eon speaking And I'm basically sharing from The entire chapter On the idea of perfectly beautiful There are so many definitions of what I think beauty is And truly, for me, it is more than skin deep. I have met individuals who were very outwardly appealing, but there was something ugly that permeated from them whereas on the other hand I have met individuals who I may not have been as physically attracted to but was drawn into something very beautiful about them All of this talk of beauty actually had me thinking about this idea of the beautiful angel when it describes Lucifer and and being so beautiful. I began realizing and throughout the text that Or, you know, the question arose. How is beauty more than what I see? And going back to this idea of what made the angel Lucifer so beautiful. And after going through this treatment today, I started to realize... Just the same with me that it's God's glory for beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And when God saw me and beheld me for the first time, he had compassion on me for from birth. I was abhorred, despised, unwanted. Because sin is a very dreadful thing. It's a very dark thing. It's a very ugly thing. I'm born in it, shaped in it, conceived in it. But he came along and spoke life to me and I flourished. I always thought that, you know, the devil was still this beautiful being. And my idea about that has changed today. I believe when he was expelled from the presence of God, the beauty left him because it didn't belong to him in the first place. Just like with me, it is his righteousness Because when the age of love came, and to me that's the time when I began to really get a better understanding of his love for me and the preciousness of this salvation. That's when I was able to really enter into covenant, when I became his. When he roved me in his beauty, the beauty of his presence. Now, don't get me wrong. I I do believe that the enemy still has a beauty that entices. It is outwardly attractive. But again, when... Analyzing closer, there's something very ugly 
underneath. So I've underst- I've come to understand today that beauty is more than what I see. True beauty. Because there is a beauty that you can see. And that's just looks. And I have realized in my own life that looks fade. And faces tend to become forgotten over time. But just like that that old adage says that 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 thing that people won't remember what you said or what you did but how you made them feel i believe that true beauty is when you feel the presence of god the closeness of his righteousness being covered in his glory that for me is when i know i'm walking in the fullness of his perfectly beautiful splendor capture on this what i'm robed in his righteous light is when i feel perfectly beautiful sir